You should move to the Northeast. The Northeast is an amazing place. I know. It is amazing. I agree. Wait, why should they move to the Northeast? I know why. The, the first reason is economy and tourism. Did you know that the first pretzel bakery opened in Pennsylvania? Oh, I thought it opened in Pretzylvania. <gasps> Pretzels! Those yummy Hershey bars and kisses come from the Hershey factory in Hershey, Pennsylvania. They even made an amusement park there that was named after them. The Northeast produces a lot of stuff that you know and love, like cranberries, maple syrup, and the fish, crabs, and lobsters. People over fish, crabs, and lobsters. That means they, they fish the crabs and lobsters faster than they can be replaced. The first boardwalk was built in New Jersey. Next up, the states of this wonderful region. States. Did you know that there's 11 states in the whole Northeast region? Yes, a whole 11. No halves. Do you want to know what they are? Well, I'm going to tell you. The states of the Northeast region are New York. Fun fact, a lot of our founding fathers lived there. Next, Vermont, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maine, Delaware, New Jersey, and last but certainly not least, Connecticut. Next up, weather. The weather? Well, if you say so. The weather is brutal and nice in the Northeast. The weather changes every season. In the spring, the weather is fine or nice. Um, in the summer, it's very nice there. It's a tiny bit more colder, more north, but a little more warm, more south. In the fall, it's starting to get cold and the leaves are turning red, orange, and yellow. It's also maple syrup time in the winter. It's nasty in the winter. There's blizzards, snowstorms, and ice on the roads. It can be very dangerous. So watch out. Next up, History. Did you know they used to go whaling in the Northeast? It was a dangerous job, but it was very important. It was how they got their oils in the 1800s. Whoa. This is cool. Back from exploring the 1800s, hot off the press. Now they don't do whaling that much. They, they just don't do that at all. The Northeast is big on fishing. Sometimes people just go to the Northeast to just fish. Not like I do, or do I? Don, Don, Don. Do you know who Dewitt Clinton is? No, who no. is he? Dewitt Clinton is the guy who built the 363 mile canal. Some people did think it would work, and some people thought it would not work. And the people that thought it would work, would not work, were wrong. And plus, they'd only use shovels to build it. They built the canal July 4th, 1780. It took them eight years to finish the canal. Eight full years. Yeah, I'm not joking. The canal is very important because it helped businesses by transporting goods faster that gave them money. They <clears throat> finished it November 4th, 1825. There's a lot of Hershey Kisses there. Also, a fun place called Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream Shop. It has its grand opening. The other amazing reason is wildlife. Wildlife in the Northeast is full of life, especially the Appalachian Mountains. They have giant forests and they are 2,100 miles. That is big. They are even 250 million, million years old. If you like animals, you should go there, literally. There are animals like turkeys, raccoons, possums, ducks, geese, bald eagles, deer, and believe it or not, black bears. Have, have you ever tasted that syrup that you put on your pancakes? That actually comes from a tree. The tree is called a maple tree. Native Americans boiled maple sap, and then the pilgrims and settlers, they did the same thing. 
They only needed a maple sap, and then you have some maple syrup. Can anyone pass me some pancakes? Have you ever seen paintings or heard of an elephant that had fur? You probably thought it is just a fake animal from a movie or book, although it is, although it did actually live. Fossil remains have been found in the Northeast. These giants lived during the Ice Age. That was 2.6 million years ago. So if you want to find fossil remains of this giant, I would move to the Northeast. Ever ate those berries that are so sour? Those are, drum roll, cranberries. They are well known in the Northeast. Millions or more cranberries are harvested in the Northeast. And if you want to work in a cranberry farm, you get a lot of money. Another reason to move to the Northeast, Northeast agriculture. The Northeast is fortunate to have strong agriculture. And Maine fishing is a big thing. Like a big thing, no joke. Some natural fruits in the Northeast are rainberries, grapes, and last but not least, maple syrup. People in the Northeast eat lobsters, Boston baked beans, and you can't forget the Anabana bread. Did you know that one of the best states in the Northeast for farming is, drum roll please, New York. You probably would not think that because of its city. There was a lot of farmers in the beginning. Cranberries were a hundred million dollar business. Yes, just cranberries. Culture. Culture. There is a lot of it in the Northeast. Too much for me to tell you all of it, but I will tell you a lot of it. So here we go. There's Washington, D.C. in the Northeast. That has the capital of the whole United States. The Northeast has a lot of big cities. One of the biggest cities, New York, has about 18 million people in just the city. It also has the famous Statue of Liberty. The Northeast region also has, and still, really important people. The Northeast also has many, many museums. People also come from far and wide, up and down, just to see the cities, the beaches, water, mountains, and theaters. The culture is mixed because it's a free country. 20% of the people do not have a religion. Some are Catholic and many more religions. There are a lot of people who like football, hockey, bas basketball, and definitely baseball in the Northeast. New York has a lot of people, not including the visitors. Over 36 million people visited in 1999. That's just a few of the amazing reasons why you should move to the Northeast. Gotta go!